start to the vlog because it's been what time is it like six o'clock already it's been half the day and six o'clock already oh no it's four o'clock i lied <laughs> it's four o'clock so most of the day went by but most of the day we just waited to get on the boat i honestly don't know how to do this vlog because it's so like out of order from what i usually do so i'm just gonna update you guys on whatever so we got bunk beds there's four guys here and right now the plan <laughs> is just four manly men sharing oh, look at the this ladder. small ass cabin. <laughs> but it's actually really comfy. Oh, get the get the <laughs> so basically we had the send off. We had the like this safety drill just in case something does happen. This is wood, right? Yeah. Better be wood. There. What was on the list was we have different spots in Japan to go to first and we have Korea so right now we're gonna go to the bar no, get man. more milk and juice. Oh, I'm already on my first drink and I think we're just gonna hang out for the rest of the day First thing you gotta do here in Kobe is try their Kobe beef, which is one of the like the most world-renowned juiciest beefs, juiciest steaks ever. And we found this little hole in the wall spot. I don't know if it's famous or not, but it looks pretty. It looks pretty <laughs> bizarre. <laughs> it looks pretty legit. I also forgot to mention today's gonna be more of a chill day. I think we're just gonna walk around, go shopping, try all of like the like submerge ourselves in the sights and sound. <laughs> The, the girls over there and the children's over there and more people over there so it's gonna be more like a submersive kind of day sights, sounds, food, shopping, all that kind of stuff so you guys can see it here <laughs> this is Andrew's vlog we're, we're at Kobe but not inside Brian not the inside <laughs> Brian this past you inside Brian when you ask yourself why am I here? <laughs> <laughs> Adrian here, I've been talking a lot of smack about being a heavy drinker, well, even though he's never like really drank. So we got him this Kirin 0% alcohol, so there's no alcohol in this. Focus. Focusing. Fo he told me focusing. He could beat you in a, in a waterfall. You want to fight? 
Who want to fight? Honestly, I don't know why. Who likes just the taste of beer without the alcohol? It's like taking the fun. Fun out of it. Here it is. Here it is. Oh. Do it. Let me taste. <laughs> oh, no, 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 you do it wrong, young child. So, to do it on the side, listen to your sensei. <gasps> That's gross. <laughs> That's gross. I wasn't, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. Gross. Shame on you. I didn't, I didn't teach you, no, I didn't teach him none of that. <laughs> okay. It's actually really impressive. with our first cut of Kobe beef in Kobe. The chef told us not to eat it. No salt, no sauce, no salt, just plain old Kobe. Here we go. First bite, first bite. Look at that, oh my god, that's so good. Ready? Oh my god. It's juicy, it's like buttery. There's like just enough chew, but still very like melt in your mouth feel. And now he's telling us to here's our condiments like you know, soy sauce, wasabi, and salt. So let's put a little bit of wasabi, put a little, little bit of salt on the second one. Wow, that's some legit wasabi too. Not that like out of the tube thing. Fresh made wasabi right there. That's so good. So next up is the uh, Chateaubriand. He told us to put garlic chips and salt. Let's do this. This one definitely has more flavor. Very explosive with the flavor. And the salt and the garlic complement it very well. To the point where you don't want too much salt on it, you don't want it to be too overpowering because the meat itself has enough flavor for it. And even if you don't eat it with the garlic chips and the salt, it tastes great. But the garlic and the salt with the Chateaubriand makes it way better. So this is the last cut. Today's rare part. I didn't say exactly what it was, but I already don't want to go the Yep. Oh, it reminds me a lot of the first one. I'm a really good, still buttery. Less flavor than the Chateaubriand, but still, same amazingness. So good. Look at that, it's so good. So, we just finished eating. I kind of had to cut it off because it was just too much food and so good. That I couldn't concentrate on vlogging anymore. But if you guys are ever in Kobe, Japan, there's this spot here at the, where are we? The Chinese? We're actually, ironically, in Chinatown, Kobe, Japan. So, this is a spot, Daiichi, right? Daiichi Kobe beef. Awesome let's food. Look, let's look for Spider-Man. Just look for Spider-Man and he'll lead you to the best Kobe beef you guys will ever have. So I think we're just gonna walk around now. We're going back to the... Are we? I think so. Oh, we're going back? Oops. Yeah, we spent a little bit too much time here at Kobe beef, but it was worth it. It was definitely worth it. Bye, Kobe. Thanks for all the food.